When I speak to print shop owners, most tell me their least desirable job to print are business cards. And the reason behind this is the time and effort to produce the cards are not worth the financial return to their shop. With Fiery Job Flow, I can show you ways to increase that productivity and the profitability on jobs like business cards. Let me show you how. So for this example, I have four business cards. The first business card is standard, has no bleed in it. The second business card is portrait size with some bleed built into it, an eighth inch aside. The third business card has been exported out of Illustrator. It has registration bars on it, color bars on it, the name of the file on it. This would take some time for a designer to fix. Then the fourth has the business card in the center of a letter size sheet. So four different types of cards we have to fix. So to fix these, we're going to drop these files into our job flow folder which is going to take a look at each one of these files and figure out how to fix them so we can lay it out for print. So if we come to job flow, you'll see all the jobs are coming into our queue. Okay. From here, we can click on one of the jobs and take a look at what's happening. So we're going to look at the letter size card. So with a letter size card, we're going to do a bunch of things. Number one, we're going to fix the artwork so it's not on the letter size sheet anymore. The second thing we're going to do is to check if it's one page or two so we can move it to the appropriate workflow for single-sided or double-sided business cards. Then we're going to do a couple other things that somebody normally would have to do manually. We're going to rotate all the pages of landscape for our layout. We'll remove any printer marks, crop mark, registration marks. Then resize it to a business card finish size. Add bleed back into the finished business card size. Then select the imposition template to lay out the business card as a 24 up. And then finally send it over to the Fiery with the proper job property selected for business cards. So if we go look at our finished results, we can open up the letter size landscape business card first. You'll see that we've laid this out as a 24 up for our auto cutter creaser. The second job we'll look at was the double sided card that had no bleed in it, so we added bleed into it for our auto cutter creaser along with the registration marks and barcode. The third job we have is the portrait business card, so we rotated the image 90 degrees, so again it would lay out properly for our auto cutter creaser. And the last business card we'll look at was the business card that had the registration marks and color bars on it. So we fixed all those automatically hands off. And if we go look at Command Workstation, you're going to see that we have the job ticketing set up where we have the proper number of copies to make 500 pieces. We also turned on single-sided or double-sided based on the number of pages in the job. So we've automated the entire process for these low-value jobs, making them hands-off and making you more profitable and more productive in your print shop. So thank you for joining me today for this edition of Fiery Friday. If you found this video informative, please make sure you give us a thumbs up. Have a great weekend.